What's up YouTube? Have you been wondering about the cut page in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back. My name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator. And today we're talking about how I was wrong about the cut page in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. When DaVinci Resolve was first coming to the iPad, I was of course very excited, even though we were told that only the cut page and the color page would be coming initially. Now, I never really loved the cut page on the desktop. I couldn't quite figure it out. And because I was very familiar with the edit page, I pretty much stayed with the edit page all the time and just really never even gave a full shake to the cut page to try and figure it out. So I knew that I was going to need to do this for the iPad because only the cut page was coming. So I tested it out on desktop. I learned how it worked and I still wasn't super pleased with it, but I knew that that was what I was going to be stuck with. Then come along very shortly after DaVinci Resolve gets released on the iPad and we find out that all of the pages are actually there if you just use the keyboard shortcut hack. So I went ahead and did that and thought, you know, got the edit page now and I will probably never use the cut page again. Boy, was I wrong about that. It turns out that I use the cut page on the iPad all the time because it really is a good interface for using a touch screen like you do on the iPad. And so I've really changed my tune on the cut page here. Even though I have the edit page, I find myself using the cut page far more frequently. And really now that I've had DaVinci Resolve for about a month or so, it's been amazing to see how much I use it. I've now edited an entire course on DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, not using the desktop at all. That was my course, a Fiend Designer version two on the iPad. And I did the entire thing just in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, which was crazy to be able to do that because I'd done courses in LumaFusion before on the iPad, but it was really difficult, hard to get through an entire course there. And in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I was able to do it all. And I very rarely found myself turning to the edit page, even though I had it. The cut page is really set up very well for the touch interface because being able to just use the pencil or your finger to drag along the timeline and the playhead stays fixed is really very convenient. It's actually very similar in a lot of ways to LumaFusion, so I don't know why I was kind of so closed-minded about it. I've also edited an entire vlog for the Yellow Van Travels channel there, and I've also edited YouTube videos for this channel in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad as well. And I'm just super, super impressed with what the cut page is able to do. It really packs almost every feature of the edit page into there. Now, there's a couple of things that are annoying to be sure, but some things are actually better. For example, I find the interface for doing transformations and crops to be better on the cut page. And so I've really found that that's a more enjoyable experience for me. And I really discovered even more about this as I developed my new course for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, which is launching today. You can check out the links for that to access it through Skillshare or as a single purchase on Gumroad in the description below. But as I was developing that course, I knew that I wanted to focus in on the cut page because I knew not everyone would feel comfortable or even know how to use the edit page. And I really wanted this course to be aimed at beginners. So as I've explored that for this course, I've discovered that really you can do almost everything that you need to do on the cut page. Even if you don't touch the edit page or fusion at all, you can do pretty much everything, including being able to add in your titles and even keyframe things right there from that single page. So I found that it really is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Now there's a couple of caveats here. And the first one is waveforms. That's probably my biggest gripe with the cut page. And I've heard this from other people as well. You can't make those waveforms bigger and most of us edit to the waveform. And so that just really puts a damper on it. Now, the best thing that you can do in this case is to turn on the expanded waveform when you are dragging. Unfortunately, I do most of my cutting and editing via keyboard shortcuts, so that's not super helpful, but I do find myself using it more on the iPad. When you have that turned on, it will actually expand that waveform up while you are actually dragging a clip. And so that makes it a little bit easier to edit, but I really just wish they would make it so we can expand the waveform. I really actually don't care that much about seeing the image at all. And so if I could swap the sizes on those two things, that would be super helpful. The other thing that I find to just be much easier using the edit page is copying and pasting between timelines. When I'm building out these courses, I use a lot of the same elements for things like titles and the same music for my bumpers and highlights on the screen to show where I'm clicking or tapping. And so that is really just much easier to do when you're able to have multiple timelines open, which you can do on the edit page and you can't do on the cut page. And so those are a couple of things 
that I find I still need to go to the edit page for. So I still think it's worth it. If you don't know how to turn the edit page on on DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, go ahead and check out my video here where I show you how to do that. Okay, I think that's it for this. I really, really have been pleased to see how well the cut page works in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And now I want to hear from you. Have you been using DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? Are you using the cut page or have you gone ahead and used the hack to get the edit page and you're using mostly that? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my brand new course, how to use the cut page in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.